This local sports report is brought to you by M&T Printing, offering banners, brochures, business cards, and more. Check out their website for a wide range of printed products at mtprint.com. The Woodstock Navy vets have been very busy over the last couple of weeks, signing a number of players, including Griffin Sinden, who joins us now from his home in Tilsonburg. What are you most excited about, Griffin, joining the Navy vets this season? I'm just excited to get going, obviously. Ending the season last year was a terrible way to end it with all this, with the problems in season, but I'm ready to get back going with a team that's really looking good and looking forward to a long playoff run next year. And I'm excited to just try to win a championship. They have such a great history and a rich tradition in Woodstock. They have an outstanding arena. And here's what I've learned, a very passionate and knowledgeable fan base as well. What were some of the factors that led you to wanting to go to Woodstock? And how do you kind of see yourself fitting in in terms of the community there? Yeah, it's obviously, like you said, a great arena, great atmosphere. Like my brother played there back a few years ago and going to games there and watching it when I was a little younger. I saw the fans and I saw how much they embraced everybody there. And it's going to be just amazing going to meet everybody. The way I ended up there was obviously Fiddlin, like Matt. He reached out to me and with my time in Waterloo when I was there for a bit with him, he was great in developing and talking me through everything, my first steps in junior B. And then him reaching out to me is it's what you want to see in junior. You want to have people who believe in you and I believe I'm going to make an impact in Woodstock and that's what they want to see. And they had a good run last year. It was an outstanding seven period against the Paris Mounties. Scored a shorthanded goal with like two minutes left in game seven to advance. Just one of the memories from last year. You said a minute ago you believe this team has an opportunity to compete for a Doherty division title. Why do you say that Griffin? What are your reasons? I've seen the players they have there and everybody they have like the players, the coaching staff they brought in, it looks deep. And that's what you want to see on a junior team. You want to see four lines that can go through. And what Matt has been building there is is looking really promising. Um, there's going to be players who can score. There's going to be players who can grind. There's going to be everybody. And if everybody buys in, why not? Why can't we win a championship? You talked about the passion in Woodstock, where you come from in St. Mary's. You went there midway through the end of the season last year. Um, what an incredible experience that was for you. And that team finishing in third place, winning that first round playoff series. What kind of impact did the St. Mary's Lincoln's experience having you? What can you say for the best parts, Griffin? Oh, it was unreal. Like the organization is top end. Like it is. They're, they obviously had their ups and downs and they prior years but coming last year when I came in their goal was playoffs their goal was getting there their goal was it just wasn't making it to the playoffs it was getting further and going deep in playoffs and I felt we had a prompt we would have had a promising playoff run if everything kept going and we had the group that like I said all bought in everybody's buy was buying in we were ready to break the barrier and go what did you learn the most from the coaches how did they help? Yeah, they were really good in my development. Um, they were, we had our good practices. Obviously, they ran me through what needed to be done. They had their players playing in the roles they needed to be. It was, their, the coaches helped me out. They, uh, they communicated very well. Like, you also grew up with the Cambridge Hawks. You played for their minor midget team in 2016-17 under head coach Greg Pierce. Let's touch on that a little bit. The minor midget year is such an amazing year, right? You know, you're, you're potentially, yeah. potentially OHL drafted, and it's something you'll remember for the rest of your life. They helped you get into these good positions with these good teams that you're in now. Can you just sort of reflect on that Cambridge minor hockey experience and what it was like for you? Yeah, it was a really good team. And going there for one year of hockey, it was it's tough going to a team for just one year. But they brought me in, and I saw I played against them and always had big rivalries against them before that. So going there for one year, kids aren't going to be your best friends when you first show up, but it ended up being a great experience. We had a good run going to the OHL Cup, mm -hmm. coming third in the league. Like, everything was 
just great with the organization there too. What are some of your long-term goals? You go to Woodstock for the upcoming PJHL season. Have you thought about things down the line or is it just take it one step at a time and see where you yeah. end up? That's it for me. It's take it one step at a time. It's going to be, you never know. That's all I always say. Keep working hard. Keep having a good mindset, right? Those are things that, you know, ultimately will make a difference with every hockey player depending on what the future holds. A lot of people, obviously, men in, in different organizations, are kind of shaping the, the person and the player that you are today. As you prepare to go to Woodstock, who are some of the people you think about and maybe give some shout outs to people along the road who made a difference to you? Your junior hockey career is so short, but you've had a wonderful run with a bunch of different teams and Woodstock's the next step. Who helped you get there? There's obviously, a, there's so many people who affected where I am now and who have had very positive, positive things on my future. And it's obviously parents, brother, playing hockey with him, playing my driving me to the rink every day when I was younger and still coming out to all my games. But then there's coaches and trainers that I have now. I, Jason DePak was a trainer when I first got out of minor midget and he developed me into a great player that I feel I am now. And there's, some like players that I played with last year going to St. Mary's a vital person for getting me there was Jacob Bloomfield who plays there now and he was obviously we've been friends forever and going to play with him was awesome and he's a great player and gonna have a also successful future. Last one for you how do you size up the Doherty division I know obviously you keep an eye on it because all hockey players do kind of looking at you know the other leagues and stuff oh yeah Tavistock and Wellesley have been, you know, at the top of the standings the last couple of years. But how do you look at the division? You know, you got seven teams now because Ayers moved into the GOJHL. Uh, what do you think of the conference? It's going to be different with seven teams, like you just said. I've never really seen junior hockey with seven teams, so I don't know what the really mindset's going to be going in for the league to have to do with that. But, yeah, there's powerhouses, obviously. And when you're playing junior, there's going to be those powerhouse teams. I see Tavistock. I see – Wellesley, Paris making that big trade with Ayers is going to be tough, but with the team we're building and the team they had last year and bringing kids on to this year, I think why like we should be able to do the same. We should be able to compete with everybody and push for the championship. I can't wait to get back to the rings. It's going to be fun watching a Griffin play for the Woodstock Navy Vets next season. Thanks for the time. We really That's appreciate much. it. Look forward to seeing you in the fall. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.